Hi, welcome. Uh, my name is Roman. Uh, I work in Metaflow at Netflix, so thank you for coming. This event is organized in collaboration with our partners at Outer Bounds. Uh, we will have a series of talks, lots of them. Uh, so in between uh, each talk, there will be a time for questions. You have two mics in the alleyway that you can go and ask questions with, um, and that's it. So the first speaker or just introducer is uh, Faisal Siddiqui from uh, Director of Machine Learning Platform at Netflix. Thank you. All right, wow, what a turnout. Thank you so much for showing up here. Uh, we have a packed agenda, as you can see behind me, uh, at our uh, ML Infra uh, meetup uh, by Netflix and you know, in partnership with uh, folks at Outer Bounds. Um, it's so good to see so many people live here. Uh, what an exciting time we are living in right now. Generative AI is changing the way all of us look at AI and the potential just seems limitless. At the same time, the potential for harm can also not be ignored. And as those of us who enable ML practice in our companies, um, it, is, uh, it is our responsibility uh, to also think about how we can enable the responsible deployment of this technology. Um, so when you think about uh, what is an awesome user experience in your ML platform that you're building. Uh, also think about what are the guardrails, the tooling, the observability you need to build into these systems. So uh, it's easier for the ML practitioners to be able to sort of uh, be mindful of the power that they're in, in unleashing in this world. Um, so. You know, anytime a new technology, a step change type technology uh, comes up in the world, people often overestimate its impact in the near term um, and underestimate what it can do in the medium to long term. Uh, and while there are some really genuine reasons to be super excited about Gen AI, uh, I mean, every day you look around, there's a new state of the model being breached and state of the art technology coming in. But it's still important to keep in mind that some of the things that matter most to our customers, and our customers here in this case are the ML practitioners, data scientists, ML engineers, some of whom are here, uh, are still often the very mundane things that uh, are about you know, wrangling with data infrastructure or trying to figure out how to build models, uh, develop models on a robust, reliable platform. So all of those things matter quite a bit still. Metaflow was developed, uh, created in 2017 um, at Netflix uh, with a singular vision to try to really focus on the user experience of data scientists. Um, and its success within Netflix, uh, as well as outside Netflix, uh, is a testament to that vision. Uh, and I'm really excited to have my former colleague, Vile Toulouse and his Outer Bounds team, who have been really pushing that, uh, uh, that vision, both when they were here at Netflix, uh, Vile was one of the founding engineers of Metaflow, as well as uh, outside at Outer Bounds. Um, and so I am, I'm, I'm looking forward to, to uh, seeing how uh, you all can also learn about using Metaflow at scale in today's fast changing space. I am also super excited for a couple of uh, guest talks uh, from Ben Labs and Rad AI. Uh, ben Labs will help us talk, uh, help us uh, inform about some of the uh, techniques they've been using for building their ML platform. Uh, Rad AI folks will talk about how they're enabling ML for radiologists, something uh, which is a very real life uh, uh, you know, uh, use case. Uh, and then there are about five talks from folks within Netflix and different, different aspects of machine learning, both from a practice perspective as well as from building the platform perspective, how, how we're leveraging and building our machine learning platform here at Netflix. Uh, so, there is a lot of uh, really good content for you all to absorb, and um, uh, hopefully that you'll, you'll find value in, in, in making the trip uh, here in South Bay. Um, you know, it's been, what, a good one, two years since we're out of the pandemic, um, and many of us have started going in events like these. But one thing that still continues to strike me is how much better the in-person experience is for events like these. Right? There's something about the human connection, the storytelling, that it's just so hard to replicate in a, in a remote environment. Um, and so in many ways, it's very apt to 
uh, what we're about at Netflix, right? That same human connection, this storytelling is sort of the core of the value that we bring to our Netflix members. Um, so I really hope that you make the most of today. Uh, there's a, an awesome lineup of talks. I'm super excited to uh, learning from these colleagues as well as uh, engaging with many of you in person at our uh, uh, happy hour at the end. Uh, and hopefully I'll get to uh, talk to many of you and learn something new myself. So without further ado, welcome once again, and I, uh, let's get this party started.